that is growing your business revenue uh, significantly. And what we're going to be covering in this series is really how to do a couple of things very, very well. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the first step of four steps that any business needs to take in order to grow and get a lot of customers from the internet. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of business you have, by the way. There are only four things that you need to do in order to get customers from the internet. Number one is get attention, aka get your stuff in front of the right people. Uh, number two is get a lead. Number three is make an offer. And number four is follow up. Doesn't matter what kind of business you have. All right. Uh, however, chances are if you sell things on the internet, you're losing out on probably 30 to 50 percent of your revenues. So hopefully this video series will uh, solve that. Um, so I'm recording this using uh, Ecamm Pro and I'm trying to live stream it and hopefully I'll do a good enough job of this where I can use this as a promotions as well in the future. But the main point here is to actually uh, use the oldest trick in the book, which is to demonstrate I can help you by actually helping you. That's my goal here. All right. So Let's get cracking and see what we can do. All right, so we'll go to the old uh, computer screen here. And essentially, um, we got to deal with this situation right here, which is, there we go. It doesn't matter what business you've got. There are only four steps. All right, so number one is get attention. Number two is get a lead. Number three is make an offer. Number four is follow up. All right, and this is it. This is the only four things you've got to do. All right, so right now, what you're seeing in the in the marketing world is essentially all of the emphasis is going here. Okay, everyone's like really, really freaked out about this. They're making a big deal out of this. They're saying, oh man, you know, there's a there's a couple of ways this is being positioned. Number one, and by attention, incidentally, I mean intention or attention with intent attached to it, right? So attention from people who have a problem that you can solve. So I don't mean like get attention by way of going out and doing something dumb, uh, you know, like deliberate attention from your your ideal people, right? So this little phase of it. Okay, this deal right here is is essentially the primary thing that everybody's you know focusing on uh, these days, and you're hearing two different things around it. Number one, you're hearing okay, you got to build a big brand, which is true. That helps. All right, and then so this is going to be like organic. Okay, and then you're hearing this other like. Um, I don't know the, the word I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> vocabulary is not my strong point. This other line of communication, which is all about ads, right? And right now, people are totally trying to freak you out about ads because they're saying uh, we're doomed because of iOS 14, right? And they're saying, number one, you got to give me some money so I can protect you from this. And then they're saying, number two, is there some sort of secret formula all right so this is like what you're hearing okay and what we're going to do in today's section of this series is we're going to address all that and uh, i'm going to make that process hopefully my mission anyway is to make this process relatively easy for you i'm looking on my monitor and it seems like the streaming might be weird but whatever We'll do the best we can with what we got. All right, so let's go back to the screen here so I can draw some more, helps me organize my thoughts. And let's see, probably what it would have been a good idea to learn how to use this thing before the live stream started. Okay, look at that, boom, I can get rid of it. Okay, so here's the thing, all right, about getting attention. All right, the, your, your business is really this, like the whole marketing world looks like this. All right, imagine this is an iceberg, okay? And this line here, this is the water. It's not a pyramid, <laughs> okay? It's an iceberg. What if this whole thing was, what you need to do is get two friends and get them to tell two friends. No, that's not where we're going. All right, so imagine this thing right here, you know, this this uh, drawing here. This is, let me go back to the thing. I think it did. This is an iceberg. 
So at the very tip of this iceberg, this is where that whole attention part lives, all right? This is your ads. This is your branding, all right? This is your posts and all of that kind of stuff. Now, this is where everybody's sort of focused right here. But really, this is just a very, very small part of it. Um, and so this is obviously going to be your step number one, you know, which is to get attention. But below the surface here, all these other three steps, which is get a lead, make an offer, and then follow up, all right, this is where the real magic actually happens. Now, the reason everyone's like all hyped up on this phase right here is because it's it's fun. You know, it's it's fun to talk about and it's fun to do. Like you, you make a post, you get likes, you, you get a following or whatever, you get video views, you know, it's cool. You get that immediate gratification. And this is why it's, it's easy for people to sell you courses on this kind of stuff. And this is why it's really fun to focus on because you sort of get that that hit, right? However, that is not really what's going to drive your business. And I know that sounds very strange coming from someone whose background is in advertising, but if you don't have this stuff below the surface, it doesn't matter how good this ad stuff is. All right, so I just want you to know that because we're gonna talk about ads, but I want you to know there's a lot more than just messing around with ads. Right, like you got to have the other parts of the business in order to be able to really scale it. Okay, so this series isn't about how to, you know, have how to have a side hustle or whatever. This is about how to go, you know, from low seven figures to eight figures and beyond, and and do so in a way that's relatively predictable and without, you know, driving yourself crazy. Okay, so that's what we're we're gonna try to do here during this sucker. Now, let's get back to this beautiful uh, whiteboard here. Special thanks to Alex Becker, by the way, who I don't know personally, but I've watched his content on YouTube and he uses one of these things. And I was about to go out and invest in one of those digital whiteboards, you know, where you like stand on camera and draw. And I was watching his content, he's just using one of these. I'm like, man, you're smart, dude. And so, thank you. Alex Becker. I don't know him, but I like his stuff. He makes good content, so check him out. Anyway, let's get back to it. Okay, so here's the thing about an ad, right? This is what you're gonna hear, and this is this is a myth I'm going to try to dispel in this section of our training. You're gonna hear that you need to have this stuff right here. Number one, perfect targeting, all right? So people make a huge deal about who you show the ad to. Now, to a degree, it's pretty smart. You know, like if we're selling steak, we do not want to show the steak ads to vegans. That would be, that would be dumb. <laughs> you know, so clearly we don't want to do that. Um, however, it's really not as big of a deal as people make it out to be for this one reason. I can already just imagine the comments. People going, you don't know what you're talking about. You're targeting is everything. It would be if it was accurate. Okay, so let me show you the real thing. All right, so let's say you and I, we go, we run an ad on Facebook and we're selling stuff to, to you know, we're selling dog training. Well, obviously, like what we're going to want to do is we're going to say, okay, let's target people who like dogs, for example. That would make sense, all right? And then Facebook or YouTube or whatever network that we're going to be on, it, it might have that data. Now, here's one issue, right? So issue number one, and then I'll just go into this one and not leave the other nine million reasons why you got to obsess over targeting. Issue number one is that when you and I set up our Facebook account or YouTube or whatever, you know, whatever platform, when we set up the account, we probably didn't do it yesterday, right? And so if you set up that account, you're like, I'm into dogs or whatever, and you tell Facebook to say, hey, show this ad to people who are into dogs that person might not be into dogs anymore, you know, like, I've got a dog, he drives me crazy, I'm not so into dogs now that I've got this dang dog, he's like, destroys everything, French, little miniature French bulldog, dang thing in a miniature, anyway, so people, it changes, the data actually changes, so that's reason number one why 
if you tr if you obsess and put all of your eggs into this one like targeting universe, you're going to set yourself up for, for getting into trouble. You're going to miss out on a tremendous amount of opportunity because the data is likely, in many cases, wrong. Number two, all right, is regulations, okay? Now, who knows what's going to happen, all right, with, like, iOS 14 and all of this kind of stuff. I'll show you some, some stuff in a minute where it, it doesn't seem to have affected anything on my end. But as we know, you know, it's the, the regulatory bodies are driven by the need to get reelected and reappointed, which is driven by the need for the public to find them necessary, which therefore creates this need for them to be like, you're in danger. These people are tracking what you're doing. We should make regulations where they can't do it anymore. Let's say that happens. All right. What if that happens? Okay. If it does, and you are 100% focused on, well, I'm targeting the perfect people, if you're 100% focused on that, you're doomed, right? Because you just got regulated out of, out of business. You don't have the ability to do it anymore, you know? And so we're not there, but I would not be surprised if eventually, you know, it, the regulatory bodies are like, ah, oh, we're going to get rid of all kinds of targeting activity. Um, and so... You would think that as an advertising person, I would hope that never happens. I'll tell you right now, I hope that happens tomorrow. And the reason why is it'll level, uh, it won't level the playing field. It will actually give people like me a tremendously unfair advantage because I know the fundamental truth, which is targeting is great and everything, but it, it's not really that important. Um, I don't know what like your level of study has been in terms of marketing and stuff, right? But let's like consider, okay, those that guys like me and, and you know, quote unquote marketing gurus or whatever, let's consider who we've learned from. People like David Ogilvy, all right? People like Claude Hopkins, okay? Like just really the the founding fathers of advertising and marketing, people like Albert Lasker. So if you were to go and you were to listen to, you know, most internet marketing gurus or whatever, and I don't use it in quotes as a disparaging way. I just don't like the term. I, I respect the work that everybody does. It's an aggravating term to me for whatever reason, right? But if you were to go and you were to listen to anybody, just pick one randomly, chances are, Hopefully, they have studied these people, all right? They've either A, studied these people, or B, they're just regurgitating stuff that they're hearing from each other. But let's just hope, all right, that they've done their homework and they're really serious practitioners of the craft, all right? Well, these people, they did not have the targeting capabilities that we have, all right? They didn't have it. What they had to do is they had to go and just show ads to everybody pretty much all right so how in the world could they make that work how i mean you know imagine that like what if you just lost your ability to target tomorrow and you just that was the only thing you could do it's like okay i'm just going to show the ad to everybody well you would then at that point be playing on the playing field that these folks had to play on and incidentally these people generated ads and did stuff that, that literally are, you know, into the billions of revenue. So you have to ask yourself the question, like, wait, okay, if they didn't have the advantages we have and they made billions with a B in sales, why, why are we so freaked out about this? Okay, so here's the secret. All right, let's pretend for a minute. You could not target anybody. How are you going to make the tip of the iceberg work, which is get attention, right? Get your message in front of the right people. The answer is very, very simple. The ad itself acts as your targeting device or the content, all right? So imagine that you're scrolling through Facebook and there's no, you know, or YouTube or whatever, and there's no possible way that... Anyone can target anybody anymore. It's just random stuff. And you saw some, and let's imagine that you like cooking Italian food, right? And you saw something that said, read this. This is the ad, 
all right? Read this. If you like Italian food, okay, and that's the ad. Now, if you liked Italian food, you would you would read it. So that what you're seeing there, and I know you're like, dude, this is so extremely basic, but the fundamentals they work. The least amount of complexity you can have in your business, the better your business is going to run. So you're scrolling, you like Italian food, you see an ad that says, "Read this if you want Italian recipes or whatever." You're going to stop and read it, right? So let me show you some proof that this actually works. And incidentally, I stole this idea from a book <laughs> that I saw one time when I was messing around. All right, so this I stole this from this book right here. So I, I was I can't remember where I was, um, but nonetheless, I saw this book. I have zero interest in photography, but I saw the book. All right, and I was like, that is the greatest book title ever because it calls right out to the perfect person. So I started using that in ads. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna see what happens if I use that approach in ads, which is like, watch this if you want more customers from the internet, all right? And so let me show you the net effect of that, okay, of that approach right now. So we'll go back to the screen here. Okay, so I think, yeah. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to show you all kinds of, I got all these different windows open, all right? So this right here is an ad campaign for something, I believe. Yeah, this is an ad campaign for a webinar. And this is getting people on a webinar that sells something relatively expensive. And I'm targeting, I'm retargeting people here. So these are people who have watched my stuff. These are people who know me. Um, and now I'm also targeting people who don't know me that are in the United States they're Facebook business page administrators, all right? And I'm also targeting people who are in the United States that say that they're small business owners. Now, again, remember we talked about earlier about data, right? Which is the dude could have said he was a small business owner when he started the account, but now the business doesn't work. He sold it, whatever. He has no interest in that at all. I really don't trust this data. Uh, but, you know, whatever. We'll target him anyway. And then here's this one, Okay. This has absolutely no targeting at all. So let me show you this, okay? This is, this is a big deal. I am literally showing this to every, look at, the, look at the size of the audience here, 110 million people. I'm showing this ad to every living human in the United States between 30 and 55 years old, all right? So no one would ever buy you. They'd be like, don't do that. That's crazy. That's the dumbest thing ever. Okay, great, please. You know, don't, don't do it, everybody else. Um, <laughs> I'll just keep doing it. And I'll do it for my clients. Why would I do it, right? Well, why would I make such a big deal out of this? Well, let me show you, okay? So this is a relatively new campaign, but if we look at this, all right, where are this? Made my Facebook thingy work pretty well here. This, this one in particular, I have, I have spent on this thing $231.59, all right? And so I'm getting a message in front of the right people. Uh, that's my goal, all right? That's, that's step one, our tip of the iceberg, okay? Remember, our tip of the iceberg, let me go over here, is to kind of get in the hang of this thing here, all right? So this is the big iceberg, all right? And here's the ocean. Our tip of the iceberg is to get the attention, all right? So over here, that's what's going on. I'm just saying, all right, let's show this ad to every single human in America between this age range. Now, is every, I'm, I'm selling business to business stuff, right? Grow your business, get more customers. Now, are all of them interested in business? No, I don't know. Probably a tiny fraction of them are interested in business. But let's look at the campaign, okay? When you do stuff like that, um, number one, you'll see that it is cheaper. So Facebook is charging me less money to reach 1,000 people with no targeting than they are with any other type of targeting, right? So it's cheaper to do. I'm getting cheaper leads here, okay, because it's so cheap, right? Now, am I getting great click-through rate or anything? No, but I don't care, all right? Because I spent 231 and I've made $1,158. I put a dollar in this week. I put a dollar in and I got $5 back out, all right? Pretty good. I'll take it in a seven-day period. That's a 500% return on investment. All right, so 
one might say, okay, that's one campaign, that's a fluke, you haven't spent that much money. I'd be like, yeah, dude, I, I agree. That is a reasonable assumption to make, all right? And you should be skeptical of everything you hear from people that, including me, from people that say, I can help you increase your sales on the internet. Uh, why wouldn't you be? All right, so let's have a, let's look at another one. All right, so this is a totally different offer, by the way. So this one is, da, 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 da. this is a different, am I in the right campaign? Tried to set this up properly. Um, and let's see, what's well, the one I'm looking for? Here it is. All right, this is the one. Sorry. Okay, so check this out. All right, this is March 22nd to March 27th. So I'm just trying to take a little, a little amount of time here. So we can see the right the right thing, and I am looking at the wrong columns. So, let me go over here, there we go. Okay, so I got two different types of targeting. Now this one, I started running it, but I actually screwed up the targeting. I, I meant to not have any targeting, but I accidentally had like all of this really heavy targeting in there because I wasn't paying attention, I was in a hurry, so that's why you see this one. Messed up, do not use. So these are the ones we wanna pay attention to. So this one, right here, okay, let's just get in here. We are showing this ad, all right, do, 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 to people who are interested in, where are you, either funnels or purchase funnels, all right? And so this ad, by the way, this is going directly to a thing that's got a video of me looking horrible on the page going, you can get four courses for $4. No introduction, no buildup of credibility, like nothing, just a straight, direct sales pitch. All right, so one would think, okay, it would probably work all right with these guys because, you know, maybe they know me or whatever, um, maybe not. Not that many people do, really, and I'll, I'm happy about that. That's fine. Oh, let me get back to the right thing. Now, let's look at this one, okay? Send the people to the same page, all right, and there is absolutely no targeting at all. I just bumped the budget up on this thing, by the way. No targeting whatsoever. It's literally showing the same ad to every human in the United States between 35 and 55 years old. Look at this. Different offer now, all right? So remember, first campaign I showed you was driving people to a webinar. This one is driving people straight to a sales page. And it's not even a good sales page. It's literally me shot with a GoPro camera. Like, that has that fisheye thing, you know, so it, like, makes everything look kind of weird. And I'm just pitching. There's no value on the page. It's a hell of an offer, but, like, I'm not, you know, there's nothing cool about it. It's not like, like, oh, dude, it must be because they know you. No, they don't know me. It's literally shown to every human in the United States. Oh, well, then you must have great copy on the page. I don't have great copy on the page. Um, it's, you've probably seen the page. It's terrible. Um, but it's still working. Look at this. Okay. So this one. Just started this, just turned this one on uh, yesterday. Spent 130 bucks and they have brought in $395 in sales right there. Okay. Why? Why is this working? Well, it's because the algorithm on, on social media, it's got so much freaking data already that it's able to, within the entire universe, you know, of, of, all the people I'm showing it to, which is a good, literally every human in the United States <laughs> that's between 35 and 55 years old, literally just pulled those ages out of the air. I'm like, I don't know, she's random. Uh, uh, you know, no logic to it whatsoever. Uh, if Facebook's going, all right, within this giant pool of people, we have so many users and we've got so much data and we know what's going on that we're going to show it to who we think is probably going to buy this. And it's, and it's working. Now, another reason it's working is because it's cheap, right? So when you go down the route of not trying to get hardcore and target like, you know, every single person, et cetera, et cetera, um, no, for whatever reason it says it's charging me a lot more here, um, which is bizarre, but I think that's probably wrong. Uh, but who knows, right? Maybe it's not cheaper on this one. Don't care, really, you know, because I made mo money, but generally speaking, it charges you a whole lot less. So I think this could be off. You never know. Um, but even if it's not, who gives a damn, right? Generally, it is. Okay. So what do we? What have we gathered here? Now, am I telling you that you shouldn't target ever? No. What I'm really trying to do for you right now is simplify this and let you understand that 
let's go back here, okay, that the real stuff that matters is, number one, all right, it's not all here, okay? It's not all about this. The real thing that's going to scale your business is the, the part of the iceberg that is below the ocean here, which is getting a lead, making an offer. There's only four steps. Doesn't matter what kind of business you're in, and then following up, all right? The reason that particular campaign is working so far is because it's just a really, really, really good offer. And for all we know, I've gotten lucky, okay? But I can tell you, and I'm actually going to show you, what happens when you fully deploy the rest of the iceberg. Because what I've just shown you makes it look like all of this is super easy. Like I've got some magic touch or something, you know, like, oh my God, you just wrote an ad, no targeting whatsoever. And look at that immediately. You're making a huge return. Just got lucky. Okay. So let me show you something. All right. Let's go back over here. I'm using this thing. It's, this is really cool. I like this. This is a application called Segmetrics. And it's one of those things that like really does good attribution tracking. Okay. So now let me show you something that's ugly. Let me show you this uh, past little period here. All right, and this is normal, okay? So between the 22nd and the 27th, I'm gonna click apply here. Let's see if this does me right. It rarely does. Now, this is more realistic, okay? I'm running all kinds of different ads. Let me go to ad campaigns here, so it's less confusing. There we go, I'm running all these different ad campaigns, and look, I spent 4,500 bucks on these ad campaigns. I've only made 997. So you're probably like, dude, you, wait a minute. Now everything's contradictory. It's like, oh my God, this is terrible. You just showed us where it looks like it's super easy. What happened? Ah, well, I'll show you what happened. Okay. What, what you're seeing right there is pretty normal. Now, this is the webinar campaign, by the way. Okay, this isn't that campaign where I'm driving people to the $4 thing. That, that one looks a little better. I want to show you the one that looks really, really bad to illustrate a point. Okay, so remember, all right, the ad is the tip of the iceberg. Phase number one is we get the attention with the ad or our organic posts or whatever. Phase number two is we get a lead. We get somebody to opt in. Okay, so that is what this particular campaign here is built to do. All right, and so I'm getting, and I'm, this is between Facebook and YouTube, I'm paying about $9.61 per opt-in. Now, I can already hear it, right? I can already, I can already hear it in the comment section. Can you hear it in the comment section? I can hear this in the comment section where people are like, oh my gosh, dude, I can get leads. I can get opt-ins for $2. You're an idiot. Oh, okay, great. Um, here's the deal. All right. This is another thing you got to understand. At scale and in general, there's really, now we're assuming, by the way, that you're doing a good job and your products are really good. There's really only one thing that matters. All right. And that's this. It's not the cost per lead. It's not the cost per click. It is R-O-A-S, return on ad spend. That's the thing that you look at. You don't look at your cost per lead or your cost per click. You look at how much money that I put into this machine and how much money that I get out of this machine. All right? So what's that got to do with this? Okay? Because it's looking like, man, dude, this is bad. Well, this is pretty normal. And the reason why is because I got this part dialed in. I'm getting the lead. I'm making an offer, and I'm assuming that most people who see the offer, I'm assuming they're not going to immediately buy. Is it because I'm bad at making offers? Kind of. I'm not that great of a salesperson, really. I'm not that great at copy. I get a little, you know, I don't like to be very, very pushy. But it's really because people are normal. They take a little bit of, they have to consider things, right? And so where I'm putting a lot of focus is here. And this is like one thing that a lot of people don't do. They don't mess with this, which is the follow-up section. And so let me really drive this home for you, okay? So I'm going to now take another snapshot. Now, every week looks like this, by the way. So last week, if I would have done this for you last Sunday, it would have looked just as bad. But let me go for the snapshot of 15th through 20th. So I'll just do that, like a Monday through Saturday snapshot here. All right. So now this one's looking a little bit better, but still not good. You're like, dude, this still, all right, you spent six grand. You got, you know, three back. 
That's not so great. I know, I know. But now look, okay? By the way, what this application does is it's showing me all the revenue brought in from anyone who clicked any of these ads during this date range. So if the revenue came in after this date range, it's still going to show me. And this is why this is this kind of tracking is so powerful. You can use whatever apps you want to for this. Uh, Hyros is another good one. It's uh, Becker's. I hear the really good things about that. Um, all right, so let's look now. Same date period. By the way, the, the ads, there's no difference in the ads, right? So I'm, I'm screwing around with different audiences and stuff, but it's same ads. I'm not changing anything. All right, so let's see here. I'll hit apply. Now watch. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. It's not looking as bad. Look at those ad, ad filters again there. All right. There we go. Sometimes you got to hit the apply filters twice with this thing. So this is looking a little better now, right? Spent eight grand, got 17 back. Now, listen, if I would have shown, what's the date range here? 13th. All right. If I'd have been making this video for you on March 13th, this would look terrible. It'd have been like, oh, I spent eight grand and I got back like two. What's happening here, and what I'm trying to show you and, and illustrate to you, is this, right? You got to have this in place, which is an automated way to drive people back to your offer, overcome objections, and incentivize people to buy. That is the magic. If you don't have it, then you're never, ever, ever going to be able to scale. If you have it, iOS 10 million can come out. It doesn't matter, right? Right? Because you make an offer, you get right people respond to it, okay? You get a lead, great. Doesn't matter if the targeting's wrong or not because the people who respond to your ad are obviously interested in whatever it is you're selling because you're using common sense stuff like read this if you want to take great photographs, right? And now you're able to follow up with people and you're able to see a better return. Let me show you the final nail in the coffin for this argument here. All right, let's look at the first through the sixth, okay? Let me hit that again. There we go. Spent three Gs. Now it's they're worth seven grand, all right? What's been happening, okay? Now again, what was the date? The end date range is March 6th. If I'd have shown you this on March 6th, it would look terrible. I'd have been like, I spent three grand and I got like $400 or something. You know, everything sucks. Um, so it would have looked really, really bad. The reason it's working is because during I, they 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 opted in during this date range they didn't buy but during all these days here they're getting followed up with automatically right so if you want to scale okay you got to understand a couple of things all right so I should probably make a pitch here too um, somewhere below this video and if I ever run this as an ad or paid or something there might be a button for it but you can go to my website roas.org all right um, it might even be showing up on the screen I think it is actually right there okay look at that you can go to roas.org if you want my team to build this stuff just for you and just handle it go there there's a little video you can schedule a call with my team um, or myself and we'll tell you how all that kind of stuff works we also do it with you and show you how to do it the choice is yours all right but here's the thing okay and then we'll wrap up this part of our uh, of this series here's the deal there are four steps okay number one is get attention number two is make an offer I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> you know, I was thinking my brain was like elsewhere. I've got ADD. All right. Number two is get a lead. Number three is make an offer. Number four is follow up. All right. It does not matter what you are selling. You could be selling cars or consulting, furniture or fire hoses. Don't matter. Home goods or hardware, I guess. I'm trying to do everything with the same letter. Doesn't matter. These are the only four steps, period, ever. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you this after being an advisor to businesses since 1999. Worked with over 82,000 and counting paying customers, all with the same goal in mind. Let's, we want to maximize our revenue, right? Every single one of them, they had this in common, all right? They had these four steps. All right, so don't let, you know, shiny object syndrome distract you from this. And understand that while this is important and you want to do this in the right way, that is just the tip of the iceberg. This other stuff 
dialing this in and even doing like, you don't even have to get it perfectly, like doing a pretty good job of this is what really allows you to scale. That's what allows you to put a dollar in, all right, and have it turn into, you know, two dollars and twenty one cents uh, after a couple of weeks there. Okay, and that's again, this is that webinar campaign. The other campaign looks better. I wanted to show you the one that looks worse to really illustrate the point, right? So if you want us to help you with this, we'd be delighted. If you're watching this on YouTube streaming or, or whatever, there might be a link below it. If you're watching this on Facebook and you're watching it as an organic post, there might be a link somewhere. Um, the website is ROAS dot org r o a s dot org i'm trying to make it show up on my screen but it doesn't seem to want to yeah whatever um r o a s dot org is where you want to go you can set up a call uh, with my team we'll show you how everything works we'll go through what's working for us we're doing a little analysis for you your business if we can help you we'd be delighted if we can't we'll tell you um, we don't want to take you as a client if we can't help that would be embarrassing for both of us especially for me so hope you enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful all right, and um, I'll see you in the next video whenever uh, whenever I make it. Then if you have questions or requests or whatever for this type of stuff, then uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to address them in upcoming videos. All right.